school where they lob off the heads of the unworthy? No, thank you. I'll just wait here. Someone's bound to show up eventually. know how long I've been looking for you. Greetings to you. If you have a letter from the Forge Mother, then you've come to the right place. Just be aware, this is an official Daggerfall business. Rothgar is open to anyone who genuinely wants to help us build the city of Orsinium. Or so I've been told. And here I am, all the way from the icy nethers of Rothgar, to officially welcome you and transport you to Orsinium. Of course, I'm also supposed to make sure you're willing to do a little hard work. There's no room for shirkers on my wagon. I sent a caravan full of food and supplies to Orsinium. Once there, everything will be distributed to the outlying clans to help them make it through the winter. The caravan's slow. I want you to catch up with it and see it safely to the city. The caravan should have just entered Rothgar territory. I can take you as far as the entry gates, but you'll have to make it from there on your own. This is important. If those supplies don't reach the city, the smaller clans don't stand a chance. With so many resources diverted to rebuild the city of Orsinium or to fend off Reachmen invaders, the smaller clans haven't prepared for the coming winter. For many orcs, the supplies on that caravan could mean the difference between life and death. Well, not me personally, but yes. Orsinium is going to be grander and more magnificent than any previous version of the city. King Kurog has invited artisans and merchants from all over Tamriel to help with the effort, not just adventurers like you. That's the king's beloved mother. The king is too busy waging war and cracking skulls to be bothered with sending invitations. He leaves all the administrative details to the Forge Mother. She's very good at such things. Invaders from the Reach, the Winterborn. They're following a mad warlord named Yorfon Iceheart on some insane quest to take our land. But we're not going to let that happen. We've got something the Reachmen don't. A secret weapon. Our Achater. What's an Achater? The big animal next to me. That's an Achater. Don't you have them around here? Sweet things, really. We use them for all sorts of things. Transportation, pack animals, beasts of burden. They even make delicious cheese. I can't get into too many details because I don't really know myself. I'm sure it has something to do with rebuilding the city of Orsinium, getting the clans in line, and dealing with the Reach invaders. It's kind of hectic in Rothgar right now. That's complicated. Well, no, not really. Kurog saved Emmerich's arse during Ranser's war, and we do our part for the Alliance. But there's no way we're letting Covenant forces get anywhere near Orsinium. This situation requires a more personal touch. Who sacks Orsinium every time we rebuild it? The Bredans and the Red Guard. Sure, we're allies now, but how long is that going to last? So the King put it in writing. No Breton or Red Guard armies in Rothgar. Ever. Says so in the treaty. I can take you as far as the border gate. Then I have to come back in case anyone else shows up with an invitation. 
Just catch up to the caravan and escort it to the city. Then introduce yourself to Forge Mother Alga. She's expecting you. Let's go. You there. We need help. Our caravan. They came out of nowhere. Attacked us. Stole our cargo. The Orcs need those supplies. The Winterborn. From the Reach. They ambushed us. Leaped out of the damn snow. It's like they knew we were coming. After that, it was all a blur. By the gods, they turned people into ice. They shattered them. We were taking food and supplies to Orsinium. Once there, everything was supposed to be distributed to the outlying clans to help them make it through the winter. Without those supplies, many orcs will die. I don't want to be responsible for that. The remains of the caravan and the surviving members of the crew are just down the road. I don't know where the marauders took the stolen cargo, but maybe someone in the crew saw where they went. No, not all of us. We had a number of warriors among the crew, hired to keep guard. But we were no match for the Winterborn Marauders. Some of the traitors, though, they raced after them. Those supplies, their clans need them to survive the winter. We were going to help them, but an orc patrol showed up. Some chieftain named Basrock told us to stay out of the way. The orcs went after the marauders, but they haven't come back yet. Someone's got to save the traders and recover those supplies. What are you doing? We can't let Chief Basrog deal with the Winterborn by himself. Come all this way to die, Elf? That isn't what I signed up for. Damn it! Where are all these Winterborn marauders coming from? Anyone see where the chief and his warriors went? Anyone? All I see is death and Iceheart's damn Winterborn. A whole lot of Winterborn. I'll be all right. I I've had worse in my time. But the orcs, we need to help them. Letter I received never said anything about fighting the Reach. <sighs> they appeared out of nowhere, overran the lead wagons. Then they turned their attention toward us. We would have been slaughtered if not for the arrival of Chief Basrog and his warriors. I don't know what High King Emric sees in these savages. The letter I received never said anything. This one has the luck of two moons. The orc peasants, not so much. You arrived at an unfortunate time, my friend. The Reach has already pillaged our wagons, as you can plainly see. This one has never seen anything like it. No, hundreds. We were attacked by hundreds of Winterborn. You look brave. Braver than me, anyway. Are you going to help Chief Basrog? Keep your head down if you don't want one of the Winterborn to chop it off. I have a good mind to give those Winterborn a taste of their own pudding, but there might be more of them hiding in the rocks. Did Orsinium send you? Are you part of the reinforcements? 
The Winterborne came out of nowhere. It happened so fast. They took our cargo into the hills and the Orc peasants chased them. That's when Chief Basrog and his warriors arrived. Our caravan was heading for Orsinium, the new Orc city, when the Winterborn landed on the wagons like flesh flies on Skeeva Pie. The Orc peasants refused to let their supplies be taken, so they chased the marauders into the hills. In case you haven't noticed, these cracked acorns aren't worth their weight in bloodberry pudding. Besides, before we could rally our forces, Chief Basrog and his Orc warriors arrived. He told us to wait here and then went after the marauders. I knew I liked you the moment I saw you. Chief Basrog is big and mean and looks like he can fight. But there are an awful lot of marauders. Iceheart's Winterborn won't stop until Basrog and all the Orc peasants are dead. You better hurry. This caravan brought me. I thought we already covered that. Oh, you mean specifically? The invitation. You got one too, didn't you? It talked about testing yourself against the most savage land in Tamriel. That was a challenge I couldn't pass up. He's a chief. In charge of an orc clan or something. If you ask me, he's got more than a chip on his shoulder. It's a whole damn mountain. I don't think he's a big supporter of King Korog, but he saved us before he went to help the peasants. No, we were the caravan guards. Basrog said he was on patrol, looking for Winterborn marauders. Some scary Reach warlord named Iceheart leads them. Even Basrog seemed a bit nervous just talking about him. Now go help the chief before it's too late. I will, eventually, maybe. I mean, look around. These people are injured. What happens if the Winterborn come back? Someone has to protect them, keep them from being picked off one by one. Anyway, I'll keep them safe while you help Chief Basrog. And don't move! Chief Bosrog will be back for the rest of us as soon as he can! We found them! Leave no orc alive! Somebody help us! Please! Shout!
There are still some of us hiding in the cave near the waterfall. You have to help them too. I saw what you did out there. Thanks for helping the clan orcs. The ones in here? I think it's too late to help them. Iceheart. He froze them solid. The bastards got magic, the likes of which I've never seen. Yes, I'm with Basrog. We were out on patrol when we saw the Winterborn attack the caravan. By the time we reached the wagons, the marauders had already stolen the supplies, and a group of orc peasants were trying to chase them down. Stupid peasants. You're Fawn Iceheart. He's the most powerful of the Winterborn warlords that have been raiding Rothgar the past few years. Since he arrived from the Reach, the attacks have gotten worse. Iceheart is strong, ambitious, and extremely dangerous. I like your courage, but I don't think you'll get to test it today. If Iceheart was still around, we'd be frozen solid by now. My guess? He got what he wanted and hightailed it out of here. A shame, really. The outlying clans need those supplies. Enough food and supplies to get the outlying clans through the winter. Without those supplies, the clans are going to starve. Chief Basrog went to track down the Marauders and find the supplies. If he fails, I don't know what we're going to do. Search the area and see if you can find anything that even hints as to where the Marauders disappeared to. If you happen to pick up their trail, find Chief Basrog. He'll know what to do. Leave no stone unturned. Anything you uncover could prove useful. Where did you take our supplies? Every second until you tell me what I want to know.
the clan peasants. Are they on their way to Orsinium? The soldiers escorted them and the wounded outsiders. They should be safe enough. Safe enough isn't good enough. Go after them. I'll continue to look for the Winterborn and the missing supplies. I wonder how the Winterborn knew we were coming. It was like they were waiting for us when we came through the Merchant's Gate. The others went on ahead to the city, in case you're wondering. I, um, felt kind of responsible for sending you into harm's way. So I waited around to make sure you were all right. And here you are, right as rain. Same as all the others, looking for adventure. I figured there wasn't a better place to make a name for myself than in the untamed wilderness of Rothgar. Are you going to Orsinium? Ah, King Kurog's mother. She's one smart woman and an even smarter orc. From what I've heard, you want to stay on a good side. I understand she has a fierce temper. Eventually. But first they asked me to go to Frostbreak Fortress. I think they realized I was good with the bow and they need something filled with arrows. Hopefully it's more of these Winterborn. Who knows? Maybe I'll see you there. You're the outsider who leaped into the bear's den to fight the Winterborn. Oh, Shan, the Wood Elf mentioned you. Surprised you didn't end up all bruised and bloody like the rest of these fools. This is our home, not an amusement for your pleasure. And I appreciate that. Doesn't change the fact that I despise that you're here, though, sticking your nose in our business. Ah, yes. The King's Invitation. And what royal bag of snakes that is. Look, you have my thanks for saving those people. As much as I hate it, I owe you a favor. But right now, I need to determine where they took the stolen supplies. Let me see that. We've been betrayed, and for gold, no less. By Malakath, I'll make sure someone pays for this. Look, I need to protect the next caravan to come through the Merchant's Gate. If you truly want to help Rothgar, then you will help me. This note indicates that the traitor has interests in the city. I want you to track down this traitor and find our stolen shipments. The fastest way to get on my good side, and on Kurog's, is to expose the traitor and recover our supplies. I suggest you start your search in the inn. Gold and dark dealings often go hand in hand with drinking and celebrating. Don't disappoint me. I hate putting my trust in outsiders. Do everyone a favor and prove me wrong. I'm the chief of the Foreign Clan, one of the oldest and strongest clans in all of Rothgar. Kurog makes it sound like tradition is a bad thing, but by Malakath's broken tooth, tradition is the lifeblood of our culture. It's who we are. You're a long way from home, and sticking your nose where it doesn't belong. That's a good way to get it cut off, at least in my stronghold. Still, Malakath would call me a fool if I turned down help when it was freely offered. Unfortunately, not even orcs are immune to greed. War provides too many opportunities for those willing to trade in lives and suffering. Gold. It turns brother against brother. We were better off when we bought it for everything we needed. Look for anything that would link this traitor to the note you found. Someone with a lot of gold to spend would be a good start. Then there are the Khajiiti traders that were mentioned. 
How many of the cat people could there be in Orsinium? First, about time. Maybe he finally sold some of those trinkets he loves so much. I ain't complaining and I ain't asking questions. I'm just glad I finally got paid. You're standing in my drinking space. It's a good day, friend. I've got gold in my pocket and a full mug in my hand. So what can I do for you? I don't see how that's any of your business. And if you're thinking of trying to rob me, well, think again. I need this gold for my daughter. Now leave me be, or I'll, I'll hit you with my mug. Oh, why didn't you just say so? Being all mysterious and scaring a person half to death? So, why are you looking for Gulag? My Trinimax deformed toe, if this gold is illegal... My Shilha needs her potions. All right, let's try this. If you forget all about what we were discussing, then I might have information that will help you. Do you agree? Right, right, you never heard this from me, but Gulag left here a little while ago to talk to those Kajuna traders. You know, the ones who showed up recently? And if nothing else, you should be able to smell them. He wears some kind of fancy fragrance, says it keeps the spirits docile. The Khajiit sold it to him. You ask me, it smells like a dead horker left out too long in the sun. Follow that scent and it'll lead you right to him. Business? I'll mind mine. Gulag sent. It is almost enough to make this one want to stop dealing with him. Arusha would agree. Except for all the gold he gave us. He's got the luck of Joan and Jode. Even if he smells like a dead horker. This one hopes we are blessed with half his luck and twice his gold. But not his scent. We are merchants, yes. From a faraway land. We bring strange and exotic goods to the people of Orsinium. Once we are set up and open, this one will be happy to show you our wares. We 
are new to this city. Where the one we do business with goes, we do not know. But when he left us, he headed east, toward the residential district. Of course, all the districts of this city look the same to this one. Curious, are you? Our business is quite legal, rest assured. Not all Khajiit practice illicit trades, no matter what you may have heard. We sell elixirs of health, cures for illnesses, headache remedies, those sorts of things. That is a word, yes. The best for the best price. You won't find a lower price in the city, once we're actually open. But if it's Gulag you seek, just follow the smell. It is quite prominent and it lingers like unwanted house guests. is ours for as long as we want. I paid in advance. You didn't have two gold pieces to rub together last time I saw you, Gulag. What changed? Fortune happened, my lovely. And it fell right into my lap. Now, come here and do the same and we'll both feel better. <laughs> and who might you be? Go Hello. find another bathhouse. I hired this one for the entire day. I'll let you deal with this, Gulag, darling. I'm going to go and get something to drink. What's this about? If you aren't here to use the baths, it must be about my tonics. Well, I can assure you, my tonics are guaranteed to cure whatever ails you. This takes time. And... and multiple applications. What? I... I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm a loyal subject of the king. I, I don't have anything to do with any damn Winterborn. No, I... I can explain. The people of this city... I made a deal for them. Gold from the Winterborn allows me to produce my tonics at a fraction of the cost. I'm doing this for the people. The outlying clans. They're enemies of this city and our king. Their chiefs refuse to accept the king's rule. They'd rather stay stuck in their old ways and traditions. Meanwhile, the poor of this city can't afford medicine. I'm saving lives. A small price to pay for a larger game. I've been loyal to this city since before you outsiders started arriving. You have no right to judge me. Fine. What's the use? See what happens when you just try to help? The supplies were sent to Frostbreak Fortress. That's where the Winterborn warlord, Jorfan Iceheart, plans to regroup his forces. I'm sure he's guarding the supplies personally. to meet like-minded individuals. You have my thanks. The poor of this city can take comfort in knowing they can afford the tonics they need. I'll find a way to repay you. Don't you worry about that.
I paid for the bath. Might as well enjoy it for as long as I can. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to soak. Greetings. Once again, welcome to Orsinium. I look forward to working with you Greetings. on this grand endeavor. Ah, another traveler arrives in our grand city. Welcome, welcome. Are you one of the chosen? Do you bear the letter from the Forge Mother? I am a high priestess of Trinimac, serving in Orsinium's temple. Like you, I'm here at the request of Forge Mother Alga to help revive the ancient traditions of truth, honor, and unity. I also greet new arrivals. Tell me, how is your journey? We've received similar reports. Just one of a series of unfortunate incidents that we plan to rectify. Awesomer soldiers and even the king himself are looking into this. King Korog believes that even those who refuse his rule must be cared for. Truly, perhaps we can still recover the supplies the clans need to survive the winter. The decision to invite outsiders to our land has already reaped untold benefits. Tell me, where have the Winterborn hidden the supplies? You located the stolen supplies. Trinimac surely has sent you to us in our time of need. Take this as a reward for helping our people. And you must present yourself to Forge Mother Alga and tell her everything. Oh, look, here she comes now. You were saying something about the stolen supplies. You located the stolen supplies. This is one of the outsiders who responded to my invitation, High Priestess. Thank you, Solgra. I will speak to the Outsider now. Come, Outsider. We have much to discuss. Forge Mother Alga would like to talk to you, my friend. Remember that your actions have not gone unnoticed. I studied at the Magus Guild in Wayrest for many years before traveling across southern Tamriel. I eventually wound up in the Somerset Isles. That was where I first heard the words of Trinimac and found my true calling. I have been called to restore the Orsima to our true destiny, to revive the ancient traditions, the ideals of truth, honor, and unity. This is Trinimac's will and desire. I have my part to play, and you have yours. Yes, my people are stubborn. They see Malakath as our protector, but nothing could be further from the truth. Malakath's passion is vengeance. We cast ourselves as victims, and this holds us back. Trinimac's light, however, can restore our glory. So our ambassador finally found you. Took a damn time. But you're here now, and that's what counts. Welcome to Orsinium. Amazing how fast we rebuilt the place, isn't it? Awesomer can do anything when we work together. The damn Breachmen and their foul magic. It provides the Winterborn with an unlimited number of soldiers to send against us. Even so, our soldiers have dispatched all but one of their warlords. That bastard, Jorfon Iceheart. Where are the supplies? Trinimac smiles upon us, then. My son, King Kurog, has already traveled to Frostbreak Fortress to deal with Warlord Iceheart directly. 
Without a strong leader, the Winterborn threat will fade away. You must go and tell the king about the supplies. There are two things my son can't resist. Food and battle. When he learned of Iceheart's location, he rushed to deal with the Warlord personally. Help him end the threat and recover the supplies. The unification of the Orc clans depends on it. The Winterborn pose a threat to all of Hrothgar. Jorvan Iceheart in particular has long been a thorn in our side. The King issued the order to invite you to our land. If the Winterborn are defeated thanks to that order, the clans will take notice. Of course, but many of our best warriors are off helping the Alliance. Besides, the other clan chiefs are too busy seeking their own glory. My son needs someone at his side who has nothing to prove. Someone without an axe to grind. Someone like you. The accursed Winterborn of the Reach. Under the Longhouse Emperors, they dominated these mountains. But the mountains belong to us now. We've driven the cowards back, but their leader, Jorfon Iceheart, still lives. It's time to change that. You can find my son at the camp outside Frostbreak Fortress. It's an old Breton fort southwest of Orsinium. We've been laying siege to the place for weeks, but Iceheart and his rats have burrowed deep. Go and help my son exterminate the vermin. This is Orsinium. Don't you know our traditions? Kurog is king, the chief of our clan, and every clan far and wide. When it comes to war, he's in command. Everything else is better left to the capable skills of his mother and wives. Oh yes, and many times over, just like any other clan chief. Noroga the Huntwife, Tuga the Forgewife, Barisal the Hearthwife, and he has a few Shieldwives as well. They're all fine young women. Kurog's been well matched. I've seen to that. High Priestess Solgra? Oh, we couldn't have done any of this without her. She upholds the ancient traditions, traditions we sorely need right now. With her help, we will restore the true religion of the Osimer, the religion of Trinimac. Trinimac the warrior, the paragon. Once he was our patron, our god. He encompasses the true ideals of the Osimer. Strength, honor, and unity. Talk to High Priestess Solgra. She speaks of Trinimac with more elegance and passion than I can manage. I do not wish to delay your journey. I have duties to attend to at the temple, and I know King Korag awaits you at Fosbreak Fortress. Still, in all my travels, I've never encountered so many troublesome extremists as I have here in Orsinium. Followers of both Malakath and Trinimac can be prone to violence. Forge Mother Alga helps keep things civil, though I fear things will get worse before they get better. The fanatics on both sides act out of ignorance, I believe, not out of ill will. She sees the path that Trinimac has set before us. Half the wives in every clan owe her favors, and it was her influence that allowed the city temple to be dedicated to Trinimac. Well, the king was skeptical at first, but he and a few clan chiefs eventually embraced the will of Trinimac. Most of the other chiefs remain opposed to such drastic change, however. They hold on to the old superstitions and refuse to hear the truth. 